Yo, what's up, shotties? What's hitting it with that good? We're back with some League of Legends. <laughs> Gretna versus Creighton Prep, I believe. Oh, my yeah, Gretna versus Creighton Prep. Day. Looking with that Lux ban. Gretna here. Can you, you mind you mind introducing ourselves to our players? All right, which one Which one do you want to? Uh, I'll do Gretna first, because right. that's my home country, so. Sounds good. Gretna here, we have Pryag, or Mason Skomal, chilling in grade 12 right now, the support mid player. We also got Enlightened Sword or Piker Sanders, also chilling in Grade 12 with the mid and support. Ioni and Feathers or the Seth Hawkins, also chilling like a villain in the 12th grade. The ADC player, Two Unlucky, Max Reels, Grade 10 in the top role. And along with this, we got AJ Apple, 1, 2, 3. Andrew Grant in anyway. Grade 12 as the jungle player. All right. And for Crate and Prep, I'm not as good of an announcer, so you'll just have to tolerate me. We got Stenchy, Kenny, Hunter Rodriguez, chilling in 12th grade in jungle. We got Z Merlin, and we're trying to go so. I get it. Uh, chilling in 10th grade in mid lane. Stitch 13, Owen Limpack, chilling in 10th grade as well as our support player. That one guy, Jay Anthony, will be in our top lane. And Rattlesnakes is Blake Leach, 9th grade, and he is our flex play. Fair, 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 fair. All sounding pretty Gucci, you know? All right, looks like we got a Malphite ban and a Zed ban coming from uh, Creighton Prep, it is. Also an Ash ban. Also an Ash, ugh. Definitely also not liking the ADCs from the Gretna side with the, the Ezreal. <laughs> I feel like our uh, our uh, Creighton is dealing with a little bit of PTSD as they just had to deal with a major Ash who kind of just ruined their game. Yeah, very unfortunate, very unfortunate. Oh, with the Vigar, I oh, love Vigar. myself a little Yordle action up in this. An infinite scaler as well, meaning that they'll have the late game secured. Oh, I mean, you never know, you never know. I... If the enemy team has an assassin, that, that, that little void guy is just gone. I mean, if he's dealing with too many assassins, just build a Toronto Shadow Queen. Or just a four. Uh, <laughs> he might just get <laughs> just disintegrated yeah. from existence right there. You just hear the shout of four. Four. Yeah. Definitely picking up their ADC though, because Gretna obviously doesn't like their ADC. <laughs> Getting that out, making sure you have it. Good choice. Making sure. Yeah, I don't want to get banned. The Ari pick. Okay, Ari okay. Pick. Ari Last... into Vigar. Um, I feel kind of uh, worried about this pick. But it's all right. But Ari really doesn't have. I don't think R.E.R. goes through Vigar Cage. I think she still gets stunned because it's yeah. Uh, he still gets stunned. The Ramus. The Ramus. Oh, is he gonna yeah. do it? Is he gonna? No! He's going for the Udyr instead. Still good. Udyr. Not Ramus material, but Ramus is just gonna sit in the corner and go, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. And the Swanahue coming out most likely for support. All right. Let's see. Last pick coming here from Graydon Prep. Looks like the Swain is going to be flexing into our support role. Definitely thinking about it. The Connie coming in to jungle. Kenny's definitely one of those better flex picks. Right now I see a red flag. You can see anything. You can really see it really depends on the last two picks here coming from Gretna. They still have yet to pick a top lane. Yeah, it's definitely need, uh, they need a top lane and they need themselves to support. And Gretna's over here to play ADC and jungler. Wait, no, not my bad. Top lane. We're missing top lane for both teams. Yeah, Trying to yeah. secure that counter pick, I think. Yeah, most likely, I guess. Always good for the top lane to be ahead. Draven out. Ooh, going with the Draven ban. Um, they have an ADC picked on the enemy team. I'm not sure why we're banning more ADCs. <laughs> maybe they're just they're they're trying to send a message here, or maybe <laughs> no, maybe their ADC is the best player. And the Mundo ban. That's very justifiable. They hate going against Dr. Mundo. Mundo is one of those chances that you have to kind of make you lose. And the Darius ban also. Hate seeing Darius. Glad to see that Blitzcrank did not get banned this match. Unfortunately, our Blitzcrank player really only knows that one champ, from what I understand. But what it is, it what it is, you know, Blitzcrank is Blitzcrank, and you gotta love it, okay? He's got the big grabby is hand. Going to be quite painful for the opponent bot lane here. Yeah, not gonna be fun to play against. I'd like to see a ranged pick. Like Caitlyn or something along those lines. Oh, but, yeah, yeah, there Caitlyn. we go. There's the Caitlyn right there. I, yeah, Caitlyn Swain's going to be an excellent pick against Let's Break Jam. Yes, especially, especially when Swain hits six. If he gets pulled in, who cares? Press R. Yep. 
suck them off. Of course. And Caitlin knows how to deal with <laughs> hiding behind <laughs> waves, hopefully. Most likely. Okay, we're just gonna see the top lane pick here next. Not able to get that counter pick, sadly, but ooh, Ruin is Ribbon. Pretty safe pick. Yeah, Ribbon's a pretty safe pick in the many, many matchups. Let's go, you win! Woo! <laughs> All right, what's coming up here? What's coming up? We got 13 the top seconds. Lane. 13 seconds before a guaranteed reveal. Very Yone, the Yoner. They don't really have a tank. Yes, no, I mean, Blitzcrank is going to be the best they get, so they're definitely just going for high damage right now. I worry about team fights. Yes, team fights might not be the best. I'm going to guess Kraden Prep is going to have to go for picks, most likely, in here. But both teams really don't have the best team fight potential, but I'd say Gretna probably definitely has slightly better. The Swain and Riven. We saw Creighton Prep try to do this first match and it got shut down by excellent macro play from our current top uh, contender for Grand Finals. So we'll see if Gretna can replicate that action. Oh, we can always pray and always help here. Definitely. Let's see. Let's see these matchups here. Riven versus Yone. Both are... I feel like Riven can just... Entirely play off of what Yone does. Yeah, really. A, no issue. A ribbon with good dodge potential can definitely just go around Yone and, and escape, especially when he goes into his E form. Yeah, and Riven can entirely play off of that E form. She knows where he's going to end up and just completely CC him out. Yeah. That's one of the major things about Riven is you land that combo, you get that CC, you kind of just win fights. Yes. Uh, Ari's definitely going to have a little bit of an advantage, especially in the early game, but I don't think Vygar is really going to come online unless he gets fed early or once it comes to level 11, level 16, is when I he'll probably will, start doing damage. I'll worry about Ari just kind of best playing. Vygar is one of those champions that really punishes their opponent for not reacting yeah. to what he's doing. If you get hit by that <laughs> that Vagar cage, it's game over for you. So Ari definitely has to be very careful, especially with the, with the alt allowing her to just run anywhere. Yeah, Kane needs to avoid Udyr. That's just a, f a fact of this matchup. Everybody needs to avoid Udyr. That's always a fact. <laughs> I mean, Udyr is one of those champions that you just get run at and you don't get a choice in the matter, but... He's just so tanky. He does so much damage. It's just... Uh, it's just CC thing. immunity at level 3. Yeah, definitely don't have the best kiting champions on him as well, but maybe Jin and Ari are going to be able to pull some some bags out of their bag. I wonder if Kane's going red or blue here. I think red makes more sense, but you might want the blue entirely just to have an assassin against the Vagar. I get the feeling Ari would like to be that person, but that uh, wall is just going to prevent her from actually doing anything. They're playing in a very strange territory where Udir is really their big tank, but both Riven and Swain are tanky. So it can, it can really go either way, just depending on, I guess, how quickly Kane wants for him. Mm -hmm. And I'm also, like I mentioned, worried about team fights. I think Gretna definitely has a better team fighting team here. Riven's got that AOE CC, Swain's got some decent AOE, Vagar Cage, Udyr Ult. He's yes. going to just do massive AoE damage. You can definitely, I think Caitlyn can clear everything up. You can definitely tell team fights are going to be very messy from both sides, though, <laughs> because I don't, I don't really think either side wants to go for a team fight when coming in. It's, it's more just going off of picks real fast here. Both teams look like they could take picks. I just think Gretna could take a straight up fight better. Much, much more exciting. What are you doing? Noise gates. Oh, okay. You definitely need to go up to Yeah, because you don't have any Noise gate, baby. Woo! Alright, I think we're all good. Alright, I'm gonna do the close threshold a little bit higher. Alrighty. Uh, ideally, that should help. That should definitely help. I think just putting a little bit of a gate on it. Oh, definitely. Okay, perfect. All right, we're gonna be heading into game here, though. To get into action. Oh, I don't need to use the keyboard. A little bit further away. Oh yeah, that too. Are you down? Yeah. Okay, they're just messing around. There you go. All right, loading into the match here. Let's get going. Any fun, quirky skins coming here? They got the Vigar Greybeard. I kind of like that one. I didn't hear a ton of noise from either team early, so I'm not looking for a here, but we'll have to see. 
Got some excellent skins on both teams for sure. Dark Star Jin is definitely one of Jin's best skins. Yeah, definitely. A very beautiful skin, but every Jin skin is pretty hot with the way it is right now. Yeah. I love the way Blitzcrank just like smooths his way down when he's running with him. Yeah. Well, that's one of my favorite walk cycles. The man is just ready. Um, not too much. Starting out, they could try invading with Blitzcrank. I don't really know if they want to take that risk. I'm not sure they have the follow up necessary though. Yeah, there's there's not too much follow up damage after. They also don't have wards. Any wards? Nope, not not whatsoever. Most of the team are sitting. Most both teams are sitting on wards. The only one who actually warded anything was Kane. I, I, I got that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Got our stuff lined up. Ari doesn't have neither Blitzkank or Ari have health pots. Yeah, it's playing a little bit, a little bit scary on the side, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Interesting to see that excellently timed stopwatch on. Uh, sorry, perfectly timed stopwatch for Swain. Definitely playing around his ult. Yeah, very good with his ult, especially if he gets in there. Perfectly timed stopwatch is a rune that gives you a free stopwatch item, which makes you invulnerable for, what is it, two seconds? Uh, I think it's some something around there. I don't, two or three. The, I don't remember the exact time. All right, you also see here, all the runes seem pretty... They have support items! Yes, they do. <laughs> All the runes are pretty all right here. You see, you see, you do see a uh, blistering with the glacial augment though. So have fun trying to get away from him. <laughs> That's definitely going to make those cooks even more annoying. Yes, yeah, very annoying bot lane here, and especially Jen has that extra speed and that extra root. You're going to get CC'd, then CC'd, then CC'd, and then you have slow, so you can't walk away. Yes. And we also saw that both junglers started bot side, so there's definitely going to be a little bit of scuffle later on. For that top scuttle action. I don't think Kane wants that skip up, though. No, I don't think Kane does. I don't think anybody wants to fight Udyr. This took. We haven't been able to get some good early damage. It's turned into a stack, though. Yeah. A Ribbon level one, man. It's just three abilities in one. You really don't want Ribbon to hit three, though, because then she has six abilities. She's way too much. Getting a nice double oh root on the Jin. Insane damage, forcing a flash and a heal. Does the Ignite kill? Unfortunately not. I'd sadly not able to kill. Oh, getting another, another room hook. under tower. Oh my. Forcing double oh, flash. He will also force out. No exhaust though. Uh, forcing the bot leaners out. Ribbon's being incredibly Ribbon trying to take that Yone. early game advantage that Ribbon specializes in. Yon making the mistake of walking back. Walking back. Oh. Yon making the mistake of playing the game. <laughs> you don't play the game. No, Vygar's able to land a stun here. That's three stacks. Hey, a stack's a stack. Ribbon trying to all in Yone right now, forcing a flash. He might most likely not going to be able to do enough. Really want Yone to back here, but he's not doing it. He's just going to sit under tower against the champion with the most dashes in the game. Both bot laners not backing. Definitely playing a dangerous game down there, especially with Caitlyn's long range Q. Ribbon's going in for a tower dive. Really there good first is. blood. Can counter it. Able to survive. Kane's coming in on the Ribbon. Ooh, Ribbon might actually have the powerhouse here. Ribbon might the damage to win this. Yeah. Ribbon, Ribbon's able to get shield. It was oh shut out of the wall. Unfortunate for the cane. Very unfortunate. Ooh, here looks like he's going to force out a turret plating here. An excellent decision considering that he doesn't have to worry about scuttles. But I don't really think they have enough damage yet to crank out those turret plating. No, he's going to fall back and go for the scuttles. An yeah. excellent decision. He wants to beat that cane out of the game while he can. He's one of those chants that if you let him sit, he'll be able to just start doing things at some point. So definitely Udyr gonna be wanting to take the double scuttle here. He might be a meeting Kane down in Botside River. Riven chilling like a villain on the bush, going again with a level five to a level three advantage here. That's a two level advantage. Just so just... much damage cranked out on this Yone. Yeah. All right, all right. Yep, yeah, you're definitely seeing the skiffuffle down here. You deer just absolutely slapping the slappers right out of Kane. <laughs> you. Yeah, Kane does not allow yeah, Kane cannot do anything. Swain helping. Up, oh, and he's just running. He's just running. And, and he goes nice down. Yone trying to do stuff up his E, but just getting, not getting landing him. anything. He does deal a little bit of damage, which I mean is a, an advantage duel, but. I'd like to see Riven back. He hasn't gotten yeah. gold in yet. Riven's definitely going to be able to come back with a big advantage here. Two kills to one death. 
Another thing you can see here is they they have a teleport advantage on a uh, Gretna side with Vigar being able to go anywhere he pleases. <laughs> he goes where he pleases. Um, Not Mundo, but close close enough. He's purple. <laughs> it gets the same vibe across. Looks like Vagar did use... No, he didn't even use Cellboard to get back to lane. Unfortunately, Ari didn't shove it in while he was gone. Blocking, very unfortunate. We've been finally making it back to the top. Kind of curious how many Vagar stacks. Actually, already, already five minutes into the game. Already have a look. 32. 32. That's a lot considering how far we're in. Looks like bot lane uh, being a little bit of AP, fighting. Man. So good. <laughs> Oh wait, you can see Ari! Ari oh just my. no idea what happened there, but Ari is just gone. <laughs> Poor Ari. I get the feeling Vagar just pressed yeah, Cage. Man. Yeah, most likely Cage. Actually, yo, you can see that Vagar is actually level six now. Didn't, didn't use his R though. Didn't have to. Might be able oh, to get another a kill stone. right here on. Oh, doesn't do have quite health. enough. Yeah, if he Going gets to keep one chasing. more ability, he does have flash. He has to bring he flash and R. That's even more stacks. And that execute from that well. ribbon. And bot lane's just kind of stuck in the tower. Brute under tower, unfortunately, didn't kill the minion fast enough for damage. I got just being able to get a tower lane, but it got oh, no. charmed under tower. Oh, Ari's no. able to claim the shutdown, and all his stacks are gone off of Dark Seal. Unfortunately for the Dark Seal stacks, and also a 500 gold shutdown to that Ari. You can definitely see Crate and Prep falling a little bit behind in this early game, especially with such a big root coming out from the Swain, going for the Ignite, but just not enough damage coming out. One turret playing down top lane. Griffin playing two very levels. aggressive here. Still sitting at that two level disadvantage for our team. <laughs> We've been trying to camp in Bush, trying to catch out this Yone. Yone's smart enough not to walk up yet. Although Riven can cover the distance to Minion Wave in a, less than a second, so. Ari's gonna start just being able to start shoving and shoving waves up, maybe trying to go for Roams finally. I would love to see her going for Roams. Unfortunately, she is in a place where she can, but she's not going for it yet. Yeah, it's definitely hard, especially when both lanes are mildly ahead. Bot lane probably would be the best to go for so far. Yes, but if you leave Vigar alone, he's just going to stack. Yes, that's, that's it's hard to roam, man. Hard choices. Uh, it looks like Udyr is already trying to take drag right now. Looks like it's not going to be a problem. There's no big red team on it Kane's here. not going. Kane's going to take his blue instead. Not expecting him anything. That's a Hextech Drake already for the blue team. That's attack speed and... I don't recall what else he goes here, but... I know it's attack speed. Oh, it's ability cooldown. Yeah, ability cooldown. Uh, cooldown haste. Yeah, ability haste. Something like that. Something along It has lines. a name, but it, we know what it does. <laughs> We get the general concept. Udyr, Udyr trying to get the gank in. on here, forcing an no. Ari flash to get over the cage. Didn't burn the old. Just this bot lane is just getting bullied, man. This is very unfortunate. He just shoved under tower each wave. Looks like he's yet to hit a hook under tower. Oh, the double root as well. Oh. Just insane damage coming out. Couldn't decide which one he wanted. Kane to trying to look for a gank here. It is level six. Oh, sees sees the enemy is going I in do a bribe. He does have blue runes, but is going red items. Very weird choice, but oh, Caitlyn will take that. And is able to clean up. Oh, Blitzcrank finally hits a hook. Blitzcrank Not going to be able to do much AC, though. Has zero mana. Oh, but I actually gets rooted back. There he goes. Oh, very unfortunate, very unfortunate. Kane falling back up, though. I do think this is just a death or, Oh, you can... Maybe, maybe he might be able to get the kill on Swain here. Flash out but he's just slow, and he's going to be goes. killed by the Caitlyn. Very unfortunate. Right now with a 7k gold lead early on in the game. A lot of miscalculations here on our red side. Creighton trying their best, but just keeps making small mistakes that are leading to the loss of fights. A lot of problems coming out here. Two big shutdowns, one on Caitlyn and one on Riven. Definitely gonna need to start claiming something here. Especially when objective bounties come up. Because <laughs> they're gonna need all the gold they can get. Hopefully they can micro around those shutdowns and everything else that could potentially get them back in the game. We'll have to see. Riven doing an excellent job of CSing here. Her and Caitlyn have definitely been pushing that lead. Yes, all of Gretna at just a solid 30 CS lead. 
I mean, even the support has a CS lead. The Swain is just <laughs> out CSing the Blitzcrank here. I mean, considering that the Blitzcrank is the one with the CSing support item. No, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Vigar looking to land a cage on Ari, is able to land, insane damage coming out, oh, instantly able to one-shot! That's the problem once you get hit get the Vigar cage, man. We got some damage in there, glad to see it. Very glad to see it. Looks like Udyr's gonna drop the Herald mid, get that advantage while they have it. Be able to get it, Kane's Main able countering. to in protect, Herald is going to be able to hit. Oh, Udyr's tower trying here. to tower dive right now at the moment. Vigar taking. the tower targeted Vigar, forcing him to back out. He's not going to be able they to are trying to go for Kane. another plating. Kane is backing off right now. Kane almost dead, but Vigar is on cooldown, so he won't be able to use that execute. They, bot lane does not allowed to play the game right now, which is always under tower. I don't think that's something we know as well on champ select, but blue team really has a lot of executes. Riven old executes, Vigar old executes, and... Even though it does flat damage, Caitlyn might as well be an execute. Yeah, basically. Just a lot of damage coming out of the top. Kane just nearly died to a red buff. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. You never know. Maybe that red buff is Nico. We'll just say we're in the patch. Oh, wait. Oh, Vigar! No. Almost able to escape if he lands. Oh, and he no. gets shut down. Big Bot lane, whoop. however, oh, going to go ahead and get to... Oh, wait. No, ADC, actually. Oh, oh well, he can't escape those. Unfortunate. <laughs> Speaking of those executes... <laughs> there, there they go. Ari chilling like a villain. I'm gonna get Swain's. Yep, Swain's gonna try to land an ability. Ari gets hit. Not enough damage. I feel like uh, yeah. Swain should have waited for W there. Yes, that's all right. I feel like Ribbon's gonna go for a very aggressive play right here. Yep. Uh, I don't I think it's gonna work it. out. Yeah, it doesn't work out. Get shut down. That Yonel making all the difference during that fight. Looking like Bot Tower's gonna fall finally. The first turret from Gretna. First turret in 12 minutes. Oh. Again, he's opening Shinnels. up the curtain. He's about to perform. It's hit once, but it hits Dodge twice. It's hit a fourth down. time. Down for the count. Those four acts went hard. Vigar waddling his way over, getting charmed, falling in love with the Fox Woman, taking two tower shots and walking back. Dang, now their health is even out. That advantage that he walked back in with is gone. It keeps losing those stacks. He gets. <laughs> Unfortunate for Vagar, but he is getting his passive stacks yeah, At least he has the passive stacks. Let's see how far he's gotten so far. That is not him. Uh, 116. 116. Just 100 free. 100 free AP. Very good on him. Uh, Kane trying to steal from the... from Udyr's jungle right now. Yeah. Definitely a slight issue though, saying Drag is going to be up and he's still top side. He's on the wrong half of the map. I do feel like... I would have liked to see Vagar build Rabadon's first, honestly, in this match, considering the amount of sacking he's getting. Yes, it would be good, but it's also... Ludent is just a very good item on Vagar to be able to crank out that damage. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Rabadon's next. Oh. It's Ava's stun. He does have ult. He does have ult now, so he might just have to, to press out. the R button. A dodge is Q. He's not going to press the R button. He doesn't trust his R. He should have uh, to take the risk, the man. It does so much damage. You have 116 stacks. 118, I think, because he hit two abilities. Gretna able to take um, the drag, though, and the two drag lead. Gretna also clearing out vision, making sure they have that. Swain might run into tower. Kane here. No, he, has, he walked back towards Swain. Oh, he does spot Kane. Kane trying to get out. Swain going to try to be using his grabby wabby handy wandies. Not able to landy wandy it. Gets the shot. <laughs> Root there on the Swain, not letting him get right away. Right there, Swain just absolutely bullying these bot lane. Blitzcrank, trying to be the hooker that he is, isn't able to get the pull game. Oh, oh he gets the gets pull game. Ryuk, finally. You're gonna press Knocked w on the straight oh, up. No, Ryuk having no, not w. the best time right now. Shouldn't have gone cheap. Kane coming right in, trying to get in, but no ends up damage. inching instead. Ryuk picking up two kills. Just so easy. Absolutely though, unfortunate. Ari missing her charm, gonna go down. Swain stole the kill. <laughs> Swain just taking the kills right now. Bot lane so far ahead. 
Hawks. Wayne sitting at four and six. Caitlin six and one. Yeah, yeah Caitlin able to grab second tower, getting another 600 gold. These second towers just give you so much now. Objective bounties are up for red team, but I don't think we'll be able to claim any just yet. Yeah, no lanes are really pushed too far except top, but Ribbon is holding a big grudge up there upon the Yona. Yo not able to leave. Pushing right in, now. going in for third turret. Wow, kind of greedy if I do say so myself. Very I mean, greedy, but they do have a large do. advantage. Jin just being absolutely denominated. Vygar ends up losing the tower. Kane trying to kill Caitlyn. Gets grabbed. Might actually be... That grab might actually be bad. Saying Caitlyn finally has space now to be able to kite. Kane trying to go in. No! Oh my. Very unfortunate. Ari root down Wayne, on the Ari's yet again. Really needs to get a better taste of woman. <laughs> right, they're going. They're already. Oh, they're going to try to take taking Ari towers. Getting no, able to get a root at the end by the sway. The curtain opens. He's trying to get it out. Trying to get Raven it out. bodyguarding. Not enough damage though being dealt. Kaylin taking bottom inhibitor right now. That's leaning two up. inhibs now. Two in oh and by 15 minutes. Dretna with an amazing performance of 14k, 15k. 15k gold advantage is definitely a rough spot. Very unfortunate. Kane just doesn't have any damage. Can't get up and around. Kane, Kane is caught like a bubble. Got the arcade. Grab. Not going to be good Caitlin enough. Is going to get Wanahue able to just swain his way out of here. Caitlyn all back up again. Uh, now are they going to body block? Right no. Now, not, no body block. Very unfortunate. Oh goes right into the Vigard game. Yon goes straight into the cage. Ari's trying, trying to get shot, but he's not able to. I think to. this might be the end of the game right here, folks. Very just cranking damage off. Blitzcrank is going to be up along with Kane. Blitzcrank can definitely try. Misses the hook though. Getting hit, getting hit. Kane's going to have to rush after the Caitlyn, but Caitlyn's kiting. Down Does, oh, crank. doesn't lead to enough. They're going to go for tower. Nope, nope. We're going to back off a little bit. Especially when Siege have minions are here. Oh, Bygar able to land the stun though. Oh, poor Kane. Poor Kane. Vygar does have no mana right oh, now, no, so he's hits. not going to be able to do much. Oh, what the oh he's still alive! Yo, Living on a dream right friend. now. If he, oh, he, oh, 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 he coming in! Trying to claim, is he going to get the 2-4? He is! He is, but the minions, the minions! The minions, the minions, there's too many! The siege minions so are going to be so right much. Well, especially if you have, you have a fed swain. Okay, you have a fed swain coming in as well with Ribbon. Two very dangerous ops. Do we get to see Shelly dance this game? Is there going to be a Shelly dance? We might. Depends on if they rotate for Harold. Harold would be a way to win this game. They can just take out the tower with it. it they may not depends. need Harold. There's three of them. Kane is going deep and already into his jungle. Kane looking to catch out the Kaelin here potentially. I don't think he has the damage though. Kaelin just has too much kiting potential. W, that's yeah, Kaelin has too much gone. kiting potential. Kane running it in. Swain here is gonna get grabbed, but he's just gonna press the R button. My shiny little baby boy, keeping it nice, getting the sucks right off. Going to get a nice big blast, getting the Ari caught out. The Jin damage just doesn't do enough. Yone's also oh just gonna be caught out. It's Too just... much damage going around. It's just Jin. Mr. Four, is he gonna be the takeover? All four on. Not going to be able Having to, to Ribbon reload. backing straight on the Jin. All Ribbon five lives. of them dead. Everybody alive. They're going to target the Nexus and they are going to take the game. Friend not getting GG third place. Glad to see the GG's in chat. Haven't seen GG, that often enough. GG's well played, everyone. Just, oh, it's just a snowball from Gretna coming in. I, Absolutely unfortunate. What is that? Yeah, it's still 15k gold advantage on the side of very Gretna strong. here. It's very unfortunate. For the no NBA objectives team. allowed to be taken for that red team. Very just demanding. Great, didn't get Great much game, out of that though. Game.